Hi, I'm Joe Bryan from MyCustomFanPageDesign.com and welcome to our two minute tutorial on creating a fan page and adding static FBML. As you may know, Facebook is going through some major changes and as of March 18th, you will no longer be able to create a page and add the static FBML app. You'll have to use what they call iframes. Now we're going to have a whole series of tutorials on iframes. Uh, we have a lot of great content coming, uh, so stay tuned to this uh, YouTube channel and, and to our blog. Uh, we're going to be looking at some of the greatest tools for creating iframes, uh, fan page generation tools, as well as creating a custom iframe and using WordPress uh, to power your content management. But without further ado, if you have not already done so, and today is March 16th when we're recording this, uh, you have two days uh, to create your new page and add static FBML or add static FBML to an existing page. So to quickly create a page, uh, go to facebook.com and at the bottom under the sign up there is a create a page link. And then you're given a list of choices here for local business or place, company, organization, brand or product, artist, band or public figure, entertainment, etc. Um, basically, this affects the information on the info tab, uh, so choose the appropriate uh, choice. In our case, we're going to say uh, website, uh, we're going to say social media ninja. and go ahead and click the agree to and then click the get started button. Uh, at this point you have to fill out a CAPTCHA just to prove that you are a real person. Now it's going to ask you uh, either to create a Facebook account or log into your existing account and I'm sure you already have an account so just log in with whatever one you want to be the page admin and there we go we have a brand new blank Facebook page now here's the important part uh, we're gonna go to edit page we're gonna go to apps and then you'll see here apps you may like static FBML now we want to add this now and add this to any of our existing fan pages that do not have it so that we have the option of continuing to use static FBML uh, after the 18th. Now I know Facebook says they're depreciating static FBML uh, I can tell you that there are tens of thousands of pages, many of them by large vendors that are relying on static FBML. So this is not going away anytime soon, um, and we like to have options. So I think uh, it's a good idea to add this app to any of your existing pages, create new pages for the products or places uh, or brands that uh, you have not done so, and add the static FBML app. Now there's a bug in Facebook. You'll see nothing's happened here, even though after I clicked add the app, if you click on apps again and refresh you'll see that we do in fact have an FBML one box here and uh, in this case we could say that we're gonna create a welcome tab and uh, content coming soon alright save the changes and if we go view our page you'll see that we now have the uh, the welcome tab there. So that's all there is to adding static FBML. As I said, please hurry and do so before March 18th when Facebook is going to be discontinuing that option. Um, for FBML design tips and iframe design tips, please visit our blog at mycustomfanpagedesign.com and uh, we encourage you to fill out our email list. Uh, we're going to be creating a whole series of tutorials and videos based around the new iframes and uh, it's content that we think you're going to want to be part of. Uh, we appreciate your time and have a great day. Thank you.